Hi everyone. So let's see how scheduling queue will be used in the process transition. So you can think of it as a queue data structure. So here queue data structure is responsible for every state means uh, from job queue. Job queue means when a process is about to be created is present in the job queue and whenever it is created then it will go to the ready queue and ready queue will hold the various process simultaneously which will decide the degree of multi program and after that it is scheduled by the cpu scheduler and give it to the cpu and finally whenever it completes its task then it will go to the terminate queue okay so it is same as the state transition diagram but i will show you the practical uh, scenario where the queue data structure is will be used for scheduling queue okay and there are some events or there are some interrupts for which a uh, process will be forcefully removed from the cpu and wait either in a suspend wait or suspend ready state okay so those uh, events or those interrupts are first one is the a block block means whenever a process needs input output then it will go to the block or wait state and when its input output task completed then again it will go to the ready state okay so for input output there is one interrupt available next is for some event a process might be forcefully removed from the cpu and again it will go back to the uh, ready state or let's say suspend wait or suspend block or wait state okay and the next one is timer or priority timer or priority means sometimes a cpu scheduling algorithm itself decides the time for which it runs a particular process uh, let's say uh, uh, let's say uh, round robin algorithm round robin algorithm basically decides the how much time uh, which will be allocated for each process for example a process might want 10 units of time but if round robin algorithm uh, startingly decides we have to give four unit of, four unit of time to each process then after four unit time four unit of time this pro the running process will definitely uh, forcefully remove from the cpu and it wait for the wait for their next chance okay so for timer or let's say for high priority processes will uh, block the running process and for some system calls also for some system calls the running process is also blocked by the cpu or weighted by the cpu so such system calls are let's say fork system call so in fork system call a uh, process creates its uh, or, or a parent process will create its uh, their child so for such fork system call the parent process will wait in the wait or uh, ready state and if the child process executes their task then this parent process will definitely uh, go back uh, go back to the cpu again from ready to cpu state okay so here cpu you can uh, think of it as a run run state okay so it is run state but run state means cpu okay because cpu uh, pick the uh, process from ready to run state okay and one more state is suspend ready so how suspend ready comes into picture i already uh, talk, uh, discuss in the previous video whenever are there whenever there is no mem memory available or there is lack of resources available in the uh, computer then a pro uh, process will go back from then a process will move from main memory to secondary memory and it is called suspend ready or suspend wait okay so these are the job scheduling queues which are required for process transition okay so you note down, note down this diagram and after that we will see some other concepts so in the next video we will see or we will start the various shape scheduling algorithms